What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Rickard and Bond. Special spooky ookie, special spooky ookie version. Yeah, I'm what sick. he said. Today we're talking about Apple's earnings, Chipotle's innovation with the avocado machine. Oh, that reminds me. Um, free burritos today at Chipotle if you go for Halloween. Um, but You're dressed always... up? I think so. I don't know. Ooh. Or maybe you just need the app or some shit. But Yo, I'll meet you up there. Yeah, it's never worth it. I try every year. It's, just <laughs> it's too long. The app doesn't work. It's just like, bro. New CEO, dude. They are CEO left. Uh, we, Chipotle Innovation is is the weekend taking cues from Apple, the overlord. And um, is am I, do I have COVID? Find out that and more up next on Ricker e Bond. Woo! It's Ricker's Bond. <laughs> Thursday. Cold Halloween. Up, Cold up. Oh, happy Halloween, dude. It's the birth of Satan, Prince of Darkness. Yeah, you know. It oh, gets the, Christ. It gets a little dark with the whole Halloween. Yeah, bro. What's your costume? I'm an accountant. An accountant, but the the kind that's a stripper. Ah, you sexy know accountant. Just, no, no. Just like, you know how girls said they're accountants but they're strippers a couple years ago no but continue well when people there is a meme where girls were asked what do you do and they say accountant and it meant they're a stripper so I saw a girl on instagram say she's a, a mattress actress ah yeah i think that's that's been around it's been, really it's a porn star Oh, yeah, she was saying that for OnlyFans girl, but I guess that is also a porn star. I mean, back then, OnlyFans girls is now the, the new porn. Back in my day. Back in my day. Porn was free. Still, Still is. is. Yeah. <laughs> Very free, actually. Surprisingly, unless you're in Texas, then, you know, your freedoms are, you got to get put your ID in, dude. Really? Yeah. That sucks. So it was for like a underage thing. So the gov just knows when you're just like swapping it. Yeah. Okay, big brother. All right. <laughs> but but and I, well, I guess yeah, abortion is the same thing where they they big brother it over there. You mean I gotta give my ID to get an abortion? <laughs> <laughs> to have a to have a major surgery? I have to give my ID to give to get an abortion and to vote, dude. What is it? Fuck. And to watch porn? Porn's a little ridiculous. Hey, listen, I'm sick. All right. Like sick as in, in the head? Because you're no, porn addiction or I've been sick? At... I have an illness. You know, I kind of feel like I'm getting sick too. Yeah. But... Yeah. What are your but symptoms? Sore throat, stuffy, sneeze. Ooh, same. Ooh. Yeah, it's just a cold. Yeah. One of those. Crazy. One of those. Never experienced a cold before, as you, you know, say. I, the last time I was sick, I had COVID. Before that, like, probably four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Well, maybe 21, 22. Lucky you. Yep, yep, yep. I, uh, a lot of hand sanitizer, not a lot of co mingling, but I did mingle out. I was I was going out with a family member to to a book fair, and what did you know? I ran into one Mister Seagal. No way. He doesn't say Seagal. <laughs> From that's the University one. of Arizona, Seagal. University, the University of Arizona, Ryan Seagal. That's the yeah, that's the one, dude. And you just saw each other and were like, "Hey." Yes, he he lives in San Diego. I don't know if you caught that in the earphones. Nah, wow. I don't think I would even recognize him if I saw him. I I did see him a year ago when he was also in San Diego, so that helped. How's he doing? He's chilling, dude. He's uh. Apparently a consultant. Remote. All right, I think we talked about this. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was like, "What Just... does he consult?" <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I can't give. But anyways, I'm at a book fair. I might have gotten sick from. There's a lot of people around, and you know, mm. you know, but the book people, they're sick. They got illnesses over there. Of course, I was yes. touching things, touching books, touching books. See Seagal, dap Seagal up. Right before I dap him, he's like, would like to warn you. And I dap him up. I'm like, yo, what's up? Cut him off. He's like, I did recently have COVID. Ooh. And so I 
hit the sanitizer right after. He's like, but, you know, you, you can. We're, I'm chilling with two Canadian homies of his, he said. And uh, if you want to hang out, we can hang out. I said, absolutely not. But thank you. You had COVID. And then me and my family go to a restaurant. We eat. A couple 20, 30, 40 minutes later, come waltzing by. It's a gall and two Canadians, dude. And they sit down and eat. <laughs> Canadian dudes? Uh, two Canadian men, yes. That oh, okay. Interest lost. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not females, but apparently there's this thing in the business where it's basically Airbnb slash a hostel, but marketed towards like early 30 remote workers that have like enough wealth to pay some pretty substantial premiums to, to live in different countries. What is it like Soho house or something? I don't, isn't Soho house like not a house? I thought that yeah. Was it's like a co space. Thing. No, this is like Airbnb, uh, hostel, but for freaking salesmen that do remote stuff and want to go to Brazil. I want to not be remote, but still remote. Be remote, but they, I mean, yeah, be remote in Brazil. Yeah. Anyways, dude, I'm going out. Freaking go out, go to bars, dude. Freaking go to a little warehouse rave as you do after. Mm -hmm. Got sick. No, Damn, bro. Sore throat, sneeze, snot. Ew. Stay away from me. Black seed Thank oil. You. Cough syrup. That's about it. I give it one more day. And then the day after that, all good. And then you're going to kill yourself if you're not. <laughs> what if you just got sick and then you just stayed sick forever Dude, and you just didn't die? Hated it. I hate that blood. notion. Because maybe I didn't think about it during when I had COVID, but like during just like when, any, when, it, when you have any kind of health thing, you're like, dude, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. This sucks, dude. Health as well. For like five days, and then you forget. You get healthy for a long time, then you forget, and you're like, oh, dude, I forgot. This sucks. I haven't, knock on wood, been like so sick that I got to like not go to work or not do yeah. anything since sophomore year of college. Knock yeah. on wood. You yeah. see not a little bitch about it? I just go. Yeah. And if I'm calling in sick, it's because I'm lying. <laughs> I just don't want to go to work. Uh, dude, I forget. Yeah. I had that thought. I was like, yo, what if I just like, just never recuperate? Crazy. That's, uh, sucks. That would suck. Wouldn't it? Chronic illness. Hell yeah. I forgot that's a thing. <laughs> that's a thing for a lot of people, unfortunately. Oh, man. What's Clip in the news, suck, dude? dude? What's Clippers going suck. on? Warriors are the best, dude. Warriors are the best. Did I say that last time already? Last I checked, the Warriors lost to the Clippers. Dude, in like the preseason or maybe not, but. And the Yankees Curry lost six. to the Dodgers. Curry got hurt a little bit, but then like all the homies were like, yo, let's, let's freaking go hard for the homie. And they'd been chilling, dude. They got all the new people in there. It's a whole new war. It's a whole new dynasty. It's going to be sick. What's in the news? I don't know, man. Starbucks, dude. Hella Tech did earnings today, and I listened to Apple and Tim. Dude, Tim, I don't listen to Tim a lot, but Tim sounded, I think Hired. He, just, he he sounds annoyed, and I can see why everybody thinks he's probably just the biggest asshole, like business asshole. Why do you think he's annoyed? He's tired of the bullshit. He sounds annoyed, dude. He's like, he's like, like said, none not, of our <laughs> products, none of our TV shows are getting good. <laughs> no, he likes the storytelling. Yeah. Good evening. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, the... I've actually been really trying really hard to like nail a Tim Cook impression. Oh, that's and... a, that's a good impression to have in your belt. Well, yeah, not a lot of you could probably impress anybody, but they'd be like, "Oh, cool," because no one really knows probably what Tim Cook sounds like. But if someone yeah. like him and you hit it, you're like, "Oh, dude. it's got to be in the right context." Right. Um, Apple revenue up no, down. What are we? Are we selling? Three iPhone revenue forty six bill, Mac seven, iPad six, services twenty four bill, gross margin. Who cares about gross? Forty six percent. iPhone revenue grew six percent. Oh, that's good. I think boy Luca, CFO. He's got a new. He's got a new job, dude. So that was Luca's last earnings call. Really? He's giving Luca props. Thank you for 
putting stuff in spreadsheets, Luca. Well, no, he taught. He got to talk, dude. CFO is oh, okay. most important. CFO going to a new position plus an unaudited uh, Q4 report. Unaudited. What do you mean? I don't know if that's the usual thing, but. So who's going to replace him? I don't know. Probably freaking. I, I guess I'll do it. I mean, <laughs> I know Apple Intelligence is going to take on the role. That'd be cool. They're like, yo, we trust this so much. I guess they'd probably do that from like an earnest and young. Uh, that, by the way, SMCI, uh, their auditor left and their stock plunged. Everybody like, yo, that's the new NVIDIA. Wasn't the new NVIDIA. Get wrecked, dude. Cooking books, maybe. I don't know. Oh, shit. No, shit. Another fucking Binance? Another FTX over here? FTX is fine, dude. Yeah, dude, yeah. Is there I, already out, my, I keep all my money in FTX. There's a report from the federal government on coin grams. Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Chipotle. Chipotle has new automated stuff. I listen to their earnings call, too. They had their opera, their op, the operator that does the calls for Chipotle. He has a funny voice, man. Shout out to him. Much appreciation to him. Chipotle. Um, GMG. We've also talked about Chipotle. Uh, you're you're a huge fan of current Chipotle. I say their quality has slipped a little bit, but I do love some Chipotle. They it's have... all. It's always like it's up there with like In and Out, in my opinion. But it's just like it doesn't taste the same as it used to. I don't agree, but uh, they have uh... that bagged lettuce, man. Ah. That bagged lettuce and that bagged everything. They used to just cut their shit fresh, but then people were like, Ugh, "I don't want Zika virus <laughs> in my fucking in my salad bowl." So now they're like, Hold "Okay, on. fine, we'll just fucking use bagged lettuce." Oh. Now it tastes like shit. Uh, give me a little Zika, bro. I don't give a fuck. So Chipotle has a in two automation things that I think they either have a minority stake in or just use so the avocado machine the autocado correct it's a, an avocado processing cobotic prototype in partnership with vibu that cuts cores and peels avocados before they're hand mashed yeah it almost seems like it'll almost be cheaper to just buy pre-made guac <laughs> <laughs> I was just, you know, just goes like, into a, a funnel of just bad prepackaged stuff. Because then that's one less person you have to pay to make the guac. So the avocado, or it could be so the the other thing. It's a, apparently cobotic is the the, the hot hot word. Uh, cobotic make line built in collaboration with Hyphen is the autom augmented yeah the augmented make line, um, and that apparently takes the job. Um, of two people down to one, so get wrecked. And it only costs two hundred million. Well, probably over the long term, and uh, uh, efficiency times. They're trying to get like twenty minute bowls or something. I forget what what the analysts on the calls are saying. They also have a fund. It's pretty cool. Is it how much money they save by giving me like three pieces of chicken in my bowl instead of like. A normal amount. You gotta go Duzzies. Yeah, a lot of tech stuff. Uh, freaking Spotify is all time high ish. Uber record operating profit. Built on new CEO. Let's click it. I'm um, also Disney is going to take, struggling? take the Grammys from CBS. It's going over to ABC, I'm assuming. If it goes, I'm not sure. I don't think it'd be on ESPN. The Grammys, but no, nah, they probably put it on Disney Channel. <laughs> Disney Plus. You know they got the fucking um, like Country Music Awards or whatever on Disney Plus. Oh, really? Yeah, That's like a big <laughs> and um, Dancing with the Stars on Disney. Well, like no other terrestrial uh, programming. I'm not sure, but I'm on Disney Plus, and it's like watch live Dancing with the Stars tonight at eight. Sure. Dancing with the Stars has to be on ABC as well. It probably is, yeah. I f I would think they would be trying to like phase out their cable shit or sell it or something, oh, you know. It's probably going back to our Disney talk last episode. That's what they're probably struggling upon. Maybe they should just 
Do it. A Disney stock. I'll buy it. Fuck it. <laughs> the company. Disney <laughs> or... stock. If you bought Disney 10 years ago, you haven't made any money. If you bought it 10 years ago, it was 2015. Uh, you better hope you got it in January. And you should have sold in 2021. Disney Grammys. Um, the Grammys moved from CBS to Disney in a major 10-year deal. Oh, wow. The Grammys will air on ABC, Hulu, and Disney Plus from 2027 as part of the deal, taking it through to 2036. People care about the Grammys? Um, Like, do they make... Do they like make a lot of advertising revenue on like the Grammys? I was just trying to look for statistics. All I have is sentiment of like we always check in with like who won a little bit. Is Grammys Grammys is music? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pe I mean people care from the audience perspective. Speaking of Grammys, I watched another movie. <laughs> I think that's Oscars, my friend, but. I know, but I didn't say it in the beginning 10 minutes. I saw M. Night Shyamalan's Trap. Is that new? It was semi-new. It was new to me. I kept on getting commercials for it, and I wanted to see it. And then I'm watching TV, and I get a commercial. It says, Trap, now exclusively streaming only on Max. Oh, Peacock. Oh, Max. So I was like, hey, guys, I wanted to watch that. So I actually rented it on Apple TV. Crazy. How much? Two ninety nine for six ninety nine. Whoa! <laughs> to see a movie, I watched it. Gave it a seven point eight. Everybody said it sucks, but I'm usually not with the masses. I liked it. I don't think I've ever rented a movie digitally. Upon that, dude, it was I could not one two three movies in. I was getting boned everywhere I went. Yeah, it's just too much effort these days. No, I could do it easily, but like it just it wouldn't. I it wouldn't go through. Fuck. That yeah. doesn't sound like easily. I could get to it easily. Oh, you just couldn't watch it? Yeah. Without hardcore porn showing up. Yeah, that's what I mean by effort. It's just like fuck. God damn it. I guess I'll pay for the content. Really? Gosh. Gosh darn it. Um yeah, man. I got no other news. Comcast stuff, Ford hits the brake on an EV, which is actually really interesting. I didn't see that before. Um, um, idle its F-150 Lightning plant at the end of the day, November 15th, until the first full week of 2025. We continue to... Newsom announced uh, tax cuts for... Um, the Dodgers. For... Uh, yeah, Dodgers fans. No. Newsom announced like tax cuts or tax incentives to try to increase film and television production in the state. Oh good. Because uh everyone's trying to like not Next. film here in LA anymore. Yeah, so I, I wanted to put those two together, but there was a some publication was talking about how Mexico is like the new hub for a lot of movie makers and also creativity. Not just production wise, but Mexico on the come up, low key. Mexico been on the come up, dude. The biggest growth. I yeah. I mean, go, and he's like, so freaking Mexico over Canada? For sure, for sure. Bro, literally anywhere over Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Canada just sounds like fucking Riverside. Oh, dude, the Canadian dudes made me make a normal Instagram where I could follow uh, females and random blokes that are traveling. I, dude, Canadians are literally like just Americans. Dude. It's the most state. Southern California. I know they're also like young, like dudes, but these accents of a West Side Canadian is the most Southern California accent you will ever hear in your life. It's what really? it's like in movies. That's weird. Instead of sounding like freaking YG and, and like fools from the freaking LA stadium, it's like surfery West Coast. Shit. You think this will um affect Ja Rule's legacy? I was gonna say you think this will increase film production in super expensive California. It says here, according to the LA Times, yeah. Right. His Newsom declares his intent to increase the yearly limit from seven hundred and fifty million to three hundred and thirty million. 
Many in the industry welcome the announcement as a significant move in the right direction while acknowledging that there is work to be done. Newsom and other officials have faced growing calls to expand California's film and TV tax credit program as a local production has struggled to rebound in the wake of last year's strike by Hollywood actors and writers. Gone forever. Probably. Or, too or, globalized. Or like 20 years from now, but yeah, gone forever. Too globalized and also AI. Uh, like, come on. Like, oh. Mexico, Atlanta, Texas, Spain, tons of filming in Europe. Yeah. So fucking like Netflix can increase content spend a shit ton and still like pay like almost nothing because they're not filming in LA. Taxes too. Spain's my homie though, dude. I don't care how freaking fascist they look (laughs) or how bad their politics are. I want to live in Spain for like maybe six months, maybe. Dude, let's go to Southwest. I won't say the freaking name, but you know it, dude. Let's go to Southwest. Blow up my spot. Oh, yeah, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Southwest, right. Southwest? No. Uh, there's a go to Conil. Conil, España. Oh, okay. I'm down. You ever been to Barcelona? I have. Don't like it. Really? You gotta like go to the beach? You gotta go to the beach. That's, there's a Barcelona beach? Yes, there's a beach. I was like, uh, Barcelona's like, whatever. And then I found the beach. I was like, ooh. And Very it's like nice. kind of farther from like a city. Not really. I mean, I walked everywhere and I didn't think it was that far. Anyway. You know, like Barcelona's fucking like big, but like Cadiz. I've been there twice and I found the beach pretty easily. So We're going to Cadiz. Barcelona is far from the places I've went. So I went to like, I lived in San Diego, lived in tucson tucson was also a small city and then when i traveled elsewhere for the first time it was to the southwest spain city and i was just like a random fishing beach town small city and then i went to barcelona for the first time and that like was even before i went to la and it was like oh like this is a city and i didn't know that and i did not have fun there in Barcelona, didn't make friends with any of the people I was with. So I just, Damn, like, you didn't talk football with anybody. You didn't fucking. I don't even think I like soccer at that point. Meet some Latinas, you dude. I was, they, they won like the Euro Cup when I was in the small town, which is like, like the Euro Championships is huge. It's like below, just below the World Cup, and I was there for that, like as a high schooler, and I didn't understand it, and I would have gotten just buck, dude. I also don't Damn. think I could drink because I was with the family, but. Damn, bro. Yeah. Missed out. Yep, Gotta yep, go yep. there. Yep, 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 yep. No, didn't make friends with any of the... I was at a U of A thing. My chance slipped, and by the time by the time the friendship window had closed, everyone was off. I was just watching Doctor Who with the family, and they were like, why is this kid still like in our apartment? Get this kid out of here. Oh, breaking news. Yeah, tell Breaking me. news. Lakers star LeBron James endorses Kamala Harris as president. I wasn't sure who to vote for, but now, now I know. Kind of interesting. Thank God. Thank, thank God we now know LeBron's political leanings. Someone on the fence until LeBron says something. Yeah, I was like, I was literally on the fence. I didn't know. Like, it's so Tuesday's coming up fast. People in Ohio. <laughs> like, I was like, you might as well vote for me because I wasn't, I wasn't even sure. I'm like, Jesus Christ! It's just thing. Has he done that before? Uh, probably. I'm sure. I don't know. I can't really see him being like, "Yo, go Biden." <laughs> <laughs> uh, he probably got some, you know, nice people. Anything that anything to soften the blow when the Diddy list comes out. <laughs> <laughs> he did. You know? He was on that call, huh? I'm starting to think that all of these celebrity endorsements are just trying to get on her good side in case she wins, so that like that's that's all that's all the companies do. That's yeah, they're just friends with the president. Like, Oopsie, please give us good taxes. We like you. It's like okay, Taylor Swift. Like yeah, I really give a shit who you're voting for. Uh, Who's able voting for is the question. He's not a citizen, dude. Oh fuck. He is he? Probably not. You're right. Bro, dude, I don't know if you frequent the weekend Reddit, but bro, everybody is like upset. <laughs> dude, it's like, bro, this rollout sucks. Is waning, dude. He could he could learn a thing or two about a proper album rollout from Tyler the Creator. 
that man like literally didn't say a word until everything was finished. It was like albums coming out this day, fucking not a moment later. Also, here's the fucking dates for the for the world tour. You know, merch ready to go. Fucking like music videos filmed, edited, shot. Like that's like no bullshit. It seems like Abel's like doesn't know what's going on. Like he's not in the driver's seat anymore. Because you know who who gave him the rollout tips? Who? Apple. Probably, bro. He'll do anything right. for money. It's clear at this point. That's right. Apple's like, yo, let's stagger our AI stuff. Abel, we're gonna give you that bag. Make this music video. Also, you know, if you want to, we have some some really good smart minds over here about releasing our stuff. If you want to hop on? Apparently, he's supposed to have a short film coming out on Vision Pro. Like, who knows oh if that'll ever really? see the light of day? <laughs> yeah, maybe he realized that like nobody has a Vision Pro. So, what's the point? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> dude, he really had a, a whole. Oh, dude, uh, you know Robert Glasper or no? No. Robert Glasper, a director, a jazz, jazz musician, and he just had he he dropped like four to five albums pretty fast and all Apple Music exclusive. And I was like, dude, I can't like it's not even on YouTube how exclusive it is. And I was like, my guy, what kind of money are you? Is Tim Apple giving you, dude? Probably a shit ton. They're on that. They're on that artist wave. Probably a shit ton. Just burning cash just to be the second most listen to music platform on their own phone they're not going for the most they're going for the best tim said or something like that no oh, is that so yeah well that's not what the fucking stockholders want to hear bro. <laughs> i don't think so we... <laughs> yeah we don't give a fuck if spotify's kicking our ass because we have spatial audio <laughs> yeah i still don't know why people think spotify is better um i don't either I really don't get it. Maybe because they got podcasts and music on one app. Like people say, "You Apple Music." Like, Maybe I it's the know. UI. UI is better. I think it's I. I'm partial to darker UIs in my opinion, but I think Apple Music is a better product because it like it. It's lossless. Can you say that in 2024? You're in dark, what? darker UI. Yeah, and it runs faster too because it's black. It's oh, so that's a good joke too. Do you yeah. have that on your, on your set? Uh, no, but I'll add it. <laughs> it's um, a little contrived to say like oh, I don't know if I can say dark uh, UI. That's a little the African American uh, uh, music app is kicking ass. <laughs> Fucking oh, yeah, Spotify. So you you said Spotify is profitable. Um, Spotify is at least at um near their all time highs. So I'm assuming they're getting good. How many fucking? Also, yeah, this I buried the hell of lead on this. Uh, OpenAI has a search function now. A web. Oh search. yeah, Search GPT is that out? It's over web search on ChatGPT. I wonder how many employees. Hi Google. Okay, all right. Let's all right, let's right, not let's, hole, dude. let's not let's not be too hasty. Yeah, here. dude. Let's. I'm gonna try this Search GPT right now. And we'll November see how good it is. Puts on Google. Really? Thirty first? No, of course not. Should you? Should I put uh, calls or puts on Trump Media? Uh, to set probably, to expire on November fourth. I mean, that's a shite chart. That's a hell of a fucking gamble. Yeah, I mean, I would. I mean, as as far as shite charts go, that's about as shite as you could get. I would probably wait for everybody to forget things and then couple months out i i like red there but uh it's a uh, basically a meme stock it uh, is basically a meme stock look at that volume bro jesus christ it went from one month had 283 uh million in volume next month 1.4 billion something slight and that's the only <laughs> way it could get a green bar Get right. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a it's a red company. Wow. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's apparently it spends hundreds of millions of dollars and it's only generated a couple million. It's probably washing money, dude. Definitely. Um, so 
You're using this uh, ChatGPT search or what? Well, I'm trying to log in, but you know how difficult they make it. I haven't logged into ChatGPT since 2023. Holy shit. Are you not a ChatGPT Plus subscriber? Uh, I wish they would take more money from me. Like, <laughs> Dude, I was a... going to say, too, like, uh, they have over, not usurped, but it's pretty, like, cut into a giant share of mind share, at least, of a web search and made people pay for it. Get it yeah. Right. They could, I don't, they, they should charge search, more. Search hasn't been a paid uh, service in all my life. Yeah. But, you know, but, but also, what are the, the implications of that? Of being free? Extreme tracking. I do. You're getting tracked to oblivion on ChatGPT you, too. You don't know what you're looking at is an ad or if it's like real search <laughs> or if it's like a genuine search. Yeah. How do I sign into this fucking Chat bullshit? GPT, then? Nah, with Google. It's still this the thing with ChatGPT is it's still all like it's still based on people making written stuff on the web. Where is Search GPT? Um, it's well, I'm using it. Do, 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 do. I told it to ask me about uh, tell me about ChatGPT search ChatGPT. Developed by OpenAI has integrated search functionality that allows it to access and retrieve up to date information from the internet. The enhancement enables ChatGPT to provide real time answers complete with direct links to sources, addressing its previous limitation of reliance solely on data up to September 2021. So it can search articles and give you it, stuff. It looks like there is a. Um... It looks like there was a wait list and now it's closed, so I can't get on it. Sorry about that, pal. Yeah, but it looks I'm looking at the website. It looks like looks like a clean product. We shall see. Is it something different than just ChatGPT? I'm on ChatGPT. It looks like Google almost. Oh, what's it called? Oh, I'm just on chatgpt.com slash search. But I'm not on the actual product. I'm just like looking at the pictures of it. Oh, wow. There it is. ChatGPT.com slash search. Huh. Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. If they have an app or... I mean, it's integrated into Apple next cycle, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if search GPT will be. But, but Siri so can give me a ChatGPT answer. That'd be fun. We shall see. We shall see if people actually All right, start let's... using this. You want to... Cut it up here. I got no more news. I'm sick. Or do you want to keep going? Yeah, we can cut it up, dude. Wonderful, because uh, I didn't publish the last episode's clips yet, and I'll probably do that. And, uh, you know, it's been a fun one. Uh, it's been juicy. Have a great Halloween, everybody. Stay safe. Stay safe. It's Friday. Go Dodgers. This. Dodgers absolutely suck. I will be at the parade tomorrow on the, the biggest float because i did all the work are you going to the parade i would hell no i'm skipping fucking work because of the parade I'm not because going because it's too much traffic yeah, it's also just like just don't come in people rioting and stuff oh uh, yeah that's just classic la it's... I mean, that's every, i've seen other places do it as well Vancouver. so so the fucking dodgers good investment no a billion dollars for the for a hotney and they won the fucking world for series hot... right sure. Remember they they spent a billion dollars to recruit oh, for uh, Shohei. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's like that. You, like you do it to be the best. And yeah, he they're technically kind of didn't do a lot in the playoffs. I know, but he, I don't watch baseball. But <laughs> did he get them there? I don't know. I'm asking you. Like, uh, did he help? No. I mean, yeah. Or was he out yeah. all season? He was not out all season, but he didn't do great during the like last few series of the playoffs. But did he help them get to the playoffs? Did the Dodgers suck before? I don't know. No. no. Okay. Were they marginally they, they, better because yeah, of him? Or yeah, okay. Yeah. And do and you think it from like branding for sure, marketing? Oh yeah, that's the best. It's the best player in baseball. Yeah, and you know, seems like they sold more tickets than usual, probably. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. They didn't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And I think he only got like what a hundred million this year. I don't know. And he, I don't know and he gets the rest later. He did hurt himself, and I was a little bit joyous about that. 
Wow. <laughs> Showing show you true colors. True colors. Wow. San Diego. Yeah. Got it. I bet you if he had a different jersey on, you would be like, oh, for the sport guy. Care. <laughs> if he was a Padres guy. You know, that would be so sad. I bet, you know, but he's still the same guy at heart, you know. He is, but I, you know, I don't like the Dodgers. They're lame, dude. A little fire, a little uh, burn, burn a, burn a bus, a little fire. I did kind of forget that, like, people go crazy after a, a championship. It's those damn East Los Angeles kids, I swear. Dude, people weren't downtown, dude. You're going to go bucking downtown. That's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, remember the Lakers in 2008 when they won? That shit seemed yeah. worse. Yeah, they fucking burned down the city. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, people burn down cities when you win championships in big cities. It's like, it's like why, though? You right. know, it's like, can, should we celebrate the city? Like, maybe <laughs> everybody grab a fucking mop, a people broom. Suck. People, I mean, a lot of people suck at the end of the day. Fucking breaking in the stores and shit. Like, yeah, they fuck. burned a bus. It's, like, it's, not, <laughs> it's not my route, homie. I don't get fuck it. Fuck that bus, fool. <laughs> I don't get it. But dude, going, like, Going up downtown is a scary prospect. <laughs> well, I was driving downtown yesterday briefly, but that's, I got my ass home. Yeah, that's scary. That's scary, scary. That's that wasn't scary. that bad. I mean, I fucking, I work in Skid Row sometimes, and you, you get well, used to it. I'm not walking there. Yeah, I wouldn't walk there. Definitely drive. <laughs> yeah, definitely drive. Rick and Bond tech happened today. I forgot I gotta do the intro too. It's Dude, really Apple Earlings, Chipotle <laughs> Avocado. Um, it's just innovation. I love America, all over. Um, Abel, get your shit together, bro. Come on. 